Hi, I'm Michael Piacenza with Advantage Pest Control, and I'm often asked, how do I get rid of ant piles on my lawn? Well, first thing you need to determine is what type of ant we're dealing with. Most often, if you're in the warmer climates, those ant piles are going to be fire ants. Okay, it could also be if you just got a plethora of little piles, uh, it could just be common indigenous uh, ants to the area. Okay, those are usually pretty easy to take care of. You can just put a little bit of dust down on the pile or you can put a bait down on the pile and that'll take care of it. Now, if you have fire ants, fire ants are a bigger problem. Okay? Now, fire ants are nocturnal, uh, so you're not going to see them during the day unless you disturb the pile. Don't do that. You don't want to disturb the pile. If you disturb the pile you know, a few times, what's going to happen is they're going to move. And when they move, oftentimes they're going to start up in two or three or four piles. Okay, So you don't want that. Okay, what you want to do is, is leave them alone. Now, don't go to these different uh, places on the web that are telling you to boil 19 gallons of hot water and mix in all these different things. They really don't work. You know, you're going to kill off a bunch of ants, but you're not going to eliminate the problem. All right? So you want, to, you want to take care of the problem once and for all. So you want to use a combination of different things. Dusts work very, very well, and so do baits. Okay, so what do they eat? Okay, they'll eat actually small animals. They'll eat a, a dead bird. All right, so you can use protein-based. Uh, you can. They'll also go for carbohydrates. You can use sweet baits. All right, so put some baits down that they're going to come up and find, and they're going to take it down. They're going to feed it to the larva. All right, the larva is the food factory for the adults and the queen. So now you're going to accomplish the elimination. All right. Now, when they're coming up and they're scurrying around trying to find this bait and carrying it back, they're going to be walking through a dust, right? If you put this dust down, you're going to kill them in two ways. So they're going to be grooming themselves, and as they groom themselves, they're going to ingest that dust. They're going to get in their system. And there's a lot of safe dusts that you can use. There's stuff from EcoSmart that's so safe it's exempt from EPA regulations. There's boric acid baits. You know, there's a lot of really good stuff. You can turn up the heat a little bit, use something like seven dust, which is not too toxic. There's a lot of different things, all right? Some of the baits that work best, uh, Niband is one that I really like. Niband is boric acid based, and it has both protein and sugars in there, so they're gonna go for it, all right? So I think this is gonna help you with your problem, and you don't get, no, need to get exotic with adding soaps and uh, exotic oils and all that kind of stuff. You can still take care of them in a very safe manner. All right. I hope this has answered your question. I'm Michael Piacenza with Advantage Pest Control, and you can learn more about us at safededbugs.com. Thank you.